Good day, everybody. My name is Donald Anonymous. No, wait. My name is Donald Thomas, a.k.a. Don Anonymous. And I have just come across an incredibly rare find in my neighborhood. This is what is at least rumored to be an infallible book. This book contains allegedly infallible scripture, the likes of which I'm sure you're all familiar with. I'm not sure if I can get a clear shot of it or not, but... Yeah, we're, we're looking at the Holy Bible here, ladies and gentlemen. Now. Everybody who's seen any of my videos probably knows my uh, opinion on this particular document of great cultural importance. Now, this document claims to be the infallible word of the Almighty Creator of our universe and instructs followers to do many things for that Creator, including, but not limited to, charity, murder, uh, destruction, uh, in, in a inescapable servitude, uh, holding to uh, particular uh, commandments, but abandoning them should the deity himself uh, choose so. So basically it's a book that teaches you to uh, follow a certain authority no matter what, even if it means breaking the laws that the authority set down to you. Now, I am a very particular person about certain moralities. I think that it's very important that people realize that actions are more important than the people who commit them. You see, because, uh, well, let's take murder, for example. If you kill someone uh, in self-defense, that uh, is still killing. But to say killing is wrong on a universal level is a very assertive statement. So if you're going to hold to those rules, you shouldn't be able to break them under any circumstance. And the deity of the Bible basically allows you to break those rules, uh, specifically if you believe in him, but only if you believe in him. This leads to a very horrible power structure which we've experienced in our day-to-day -day lives and which uh, I suppose is the reason for a lot of the world's suffering, if not most of it. So let me go ahead and uh, give you one more look at this thing because... Uh, in another moment or two, it's about to uh, go up in flames. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the infallible holy book that is the Bible, the scriptures contained within the Bible, are going to be used for, perhaps, even though a destructive purpose, a more productive purpose than could ever have been feasible by the original writers of the Bible. Yes, I do believe that we have found a much better purpose for such a document. And as such, since we have found a better purpose for said document, let us introduce said document to said purpose present. I should probably get a fire going first. <laughs>
They say some of the greatest evils take the longest time to die. I remember Linkara doing something similar to this. He was trying to set fire to a particularly crappy uh, Superman comic that seemed to portray Superman as a, uh, well, the whole comic didn't really make any sense with the damn ever, so. There we go. But even the greatest evils can still die, ladies and gentlemen. Seems as though the biblical truth is not so truthful after all. The infallible word of God. Now, in smoke language, for those of you Indians out there who were mercilessly persecuted and destroyed by the uh, Catholic priests who came here, we now have smoke signal version of the New Testament for you. Oh, that's toasty. Oh, that's tender. Look at that. That is just beautiful. You can almost taste the salvation. But I am not done yet. This one needs a little bit of help here. Now, I'll bet if I did this with a Satanic Bible, I'd get the exact same result. There we go. Another fine round of flames. You can just see the Holy Spirit jumping right off the page there. Yep. This Bible is re receiving the old baptism by fire quite well this time. In all of this, I actually had some hope that it wouldn't burn. 
that somehow these fires that are looking at right now would be incapable of burning this allegedly great holy document. But that just doesn't seem possible right now. Even in a world where people say that the person who conveyed these messages and the people who wrote it were saints, gods, and infallible people, the words themselves seem to be meaningless. Unless, of course, carried by those who know who, how to actually use them. But that doesn't make them infallible. Even the greatest message can be misinterpreted, lied about, and yes, even destroyed. The texts in these books weren't all bad, but there was enough horrible, disgusting, vile, terrible content and instructions for people to murder their own kin, slaughter their own children, and do even worse things in the name of this holy being which is just not present, just not present in our universe. I used to be a Christian, you know. I used to pray to this, to the sky, and whatever else these human beings like to call God. And I used to try to ask for these things to actually happen, for prayer to come true, to cure cancer, to save the world, and ultimately to see God for myself. But, you know, I, I suppose it just takes a lot of selective viewing and a lot of special pleading to, to be able to believe this kind of crap. Because all it's caused me and my family is pain and suffering. Pain and suffering masked as, uh, as kindness and charity. Authoritative nonsense touted as, uh, touted as some form of truth. So, This being the piece of crap that it is, be a shame to just leave it out here for some poor bird to come by and mistake it as nesting material. So, well, I'm not even sure if I should burn the rest of it. It's already been proven the point completely destroy it with just... Yeah, fuck it. It's probably a good idea anyway. Lord, if you exist, please stay my hand. Prevent me from being able to destroy your message. Your great, great message to your people. Please, Lord. Stop me from doing these sinny things. Stop me with your great power, your great incredible awesomeness that is you. Oh yeah, I have to say Jesus, right? Because if I don't say Jesus, it doesn't count. Oh Lord Jesus, if you have the power, if you have the the ability to do this. Please help. Estoy recordando, no. No sé si. Estoy recordando. Sí. Lord Jesus, if you have the power, please stop me. Please stop me from burning this great and mighty holy book of yours. Mío. No me lo dieron a alguien. Sí. Y por eso es en español, estamos quemando un Biblia hoy. Infalible no pienso. Está en español o en inglés. Ya está en lenguaje de humo. No, pero estoy diciendo, ¿no es mía esa Biblia? No. ¿No es la que tenía ese, esa tela que me dio Ángela? No. Esto es de un... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Un car dealer, una persona que vende carros, lo dan gratis. No es que no es. 
Así es. No creo yo. Checas dónde está tuyo. Oh. No más te digo, dona, ten cuidado con las cosas que haces, porque tú sabes que a, a, a nuestro Señor Jesucristo no, no, no le gustan las cosas que tú estás haciendo, dona. Lord Jesus, please stop me. God, please intervene. No más te digo, dona, puedes quedar en otra forma, yo te digo, no haces cosas contra Dios, porque tú, tú no puedes hacer, no, 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 no eres, no, no tienes el poder para hacer las cosas, dona. Um, just to let you guys know, I was just given the I was just given the ontological argument that I am incapable of doing things without God. Well, I'd have to let you guys know that this is a very weak argument, and I expected a little more. Unfortunately, God doesn't God doesn't change my matches. God doesn't allow me to strike my matches at all. And even without God, fire is still possible. Look at what we can do without Jesus. Without God, everything is possible. You see, people are so confident that prayer can do more than cause a psychological fixation on authority and lies. Tell me, for every person that you've prayed for, how much has that helped them? My neighbor is down the street and having trouble with a branch. Do I pray that they'll get that branch working or do I offer my help? Let's be honest here. I'm not the type of person who likes to pretend that I'm helping people. That's completely lazy. If I wanted to help someone, I would. And if people wanted me to help them, they'd ask. They would not pray for it. Because prayer is whispering into the wind to get a message carried over miles and miles. It's a lie. Just like many things that are written. There are things that people write that just aren't true. And this is one of them. Getting rid of it is probably doing the universe a favor. That being said, this video is getting quite long, so I hope those of you who are with faith can open your eyes a little clearer at this and realize that there really is no intervention, there really is no such thing as infallibility, especially when you're dealing with a deity, because deities are like comic book characters, they're like fictional novel characters, Harry Potter, Commander Shepard, Spider-Man, Mega Man. All of these things are equivalent to God. Except I'd argue that Superman's a little more popular right now, but hey. The point is, if you're going to do something, you have to do it because it's of your own volition and your responsibility. To put all of that responsibility and all of that assumption into a being that does not exist, is effectively a cop-out. You avoid acting, and instead you ask the wind to act for you. It's quite unresponsive. Too fast. See you later, guys.